हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड डी एफ टी फॉर लीनियर फिल्टरिंग ऑफ लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन सीक्वेंस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दैट द लीनियर कन्वल्यूशन कैन बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड यूजिंग डी एफ टी समटाइम्स द इनपुट सीक्वेंस एक्स ऑफ एन इज ए वेरी लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन सीक्वेंस हेंस टू परफॉर्म द कन्वल्यूशन फॉर लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन सीक्वेंस इट विल बी टाइम कंज्यूमिंग हेंस द लीनियर फिल्टरिंग ऑफ such long duration sequence can be implemented using dft the long duration sequence is segmented into short duration blocks which is known as sub segments then the successive input sequence blocks are filtered one at a time using dft the corresponding output blocks are fitted together to generate a combined output sequence to perform linear filtering of long duration sequence there are two method first method is overlap save method and the second method is overlap add method in this lecture we will understand overlap save method now let us see the different steps involved in overlap save method let us take the unit impulse response h of n of the length m and x of n it is a long duration sequence it will be segmented into the blocks of length l you can see here this is x of n so this x of n is a long duration sequence so it will be segmented into the blocks of l number of samples which means each block will be having l number of samples first step is to select n that will be equal to 2 to the power of m so here m will be the length of h of n second step is the length of h of n is made equal to n by padding l minus 1 zeros since n is equal to m plus l minus 1 the length of h of n is m that's why we will pad l minus 1 zeros to h of n to make the length of h of n as n so that's why we will take h of n we will write the samples of h of n for that sample we will pad l minus 1 zeros this is the second step in the third step the sequence x of n is divided into sub sequence of length n so we will take a long duration sequence and this long duration sequence is sub divided into sub sequence or blocks we can divide it as x1 x2 x3 and for this x1 we will take l number of samples for that we will append m minus 1 zeros for the next block or the next sub sequence we will take l number of sequence for that we will append m minus 1 samples of x1 of n again we will take the next block which is of length l which means it is having l number of samples for that we will append m minus 1 samples of x2 of n so we will append m minus 1 samples of x2 of n so why we will append m minus 1 zeros for the first sequence and then m minus 1 samples for all other sequence means the length of each block is l so to make the length n will append m minus 1 zeros for x1 for remaining sequence will append m minus 1 samples from the previous block so once we divide the long sequence as x1 x2 and x3 we will calculate y1 of k is equal to x1 of k into h1 of k so we will take x1 of n for that we will find dft that will produce x1 of k we will take h of n for that if we take dft it will be h of k we will multiply these two values to get y1 of k and after getting y1 of k we can take idft of this value to get y1 of n the same steps can be repeated for x2 of n x3 of n and so on to get y2 of n y3 of n and so on instead of taking dft and then taking idft 
we can directly perform circular convolution of x1 of n with h of n to get y1 of n. You can use DFT and IDFT to get y1 of n or you can directly take circular convolution of x1 of n and h of n to get y1 of n. So, this step you can follow it will reduce time. So, you can directly take the circular convolution of x1 of n and h of n to get y1 of n. Then in the same way you can find y2 of n and y3 of n. So, in the first step the long duration sequence of x of n is subdivided into different blocks. So, we will take x1 of n as it is for that we will append m minus 1 zeros. So, to make the length of this sequence as n since the length of x1 of n, x2 of n and x3 of n is l. So, if we append m minus 1 0 the length will be equal to n. For the next block we will take the block as it is for that we will append m minus 1 samples of x1 of n. For the next block we will take x3 of n for that block we will append m minus 1 samples of x2 of n. For this entire block will perform the circular convolution to get y1 of n, y2 of n and y3 of n. So, what we will do in the final step the first m minus 1 samples of y1 of n, y2 of n and y3 of n are discarded. So, we will discard the initial m minus 1 samples of y1 of n, y2 of n and y3 of n. So, we will take the remaining samples we will write y1 of n, y2 of n and y3 of n which means uh, we can say we are fitting these samples to get the final sequence. So, this is the final step. So, this is about the overlap save method hope you have understood the topic thank you.